going on, everyone? Today is uh, Sunday, uh, March 4th, 2018. I love how I always got to think about what the date is, the year, Everybody and all say that. bloody Sunday, yeah? Sunday, bloody. You just did Sunday, bloody Sunday. We're here for uh, H2O, Subterranean Violence 2. This is a private show, invite only to all the dedicated fans here. Bloody so. Sunday, we're on the edge, it's pro bono. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about the wind, it's really windy out here. Uh, I won't be shooting any wrestling today, but I will be shooting us hanging out and enjoying ourselves. So you got to get this motherfucking DVD, Blu-ray, or digital download. Jake's trying to get out, so we won't be using Jake's GoPro or anything with the ceiling. I'm kind of bummed, but you know, I think it's got to be exclusive. But uh, yeah, let's get in there and uh, let me get a shot of all this weaponry real quick. That's going to be awesome. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> They're not rigged though to go up, are they? Not yet. Not yet. Okay, not yet. I was just thinking, so it touches them there. They're going off. Alright, some shots of the weaponry here. Buying merch, yeah. you do you you do. You're all about it. I love it. You're always buying everything, man. So you're your number one supporter, man. It's my only passion. Oh, that was a good show, dude. Bulldozer Bash was a sick show, dude. I don't know if I have this one. I want them on Blu-ray. You gotta get your Blu-ray. We'll, we'll talk to Matt about getting some Blu-rays done. Still packing in here. <laughs> I think I got all that because like, when you said that, I'm like, what is he uh, talking about? And the next thing we're going to see is scream. All right, as I wander around, there is still plenty of more weaponry over here. I didn't even realize how much more stuff was here. Unlimited supply. All right, somebody just came in here and blew this bitch the fuck up. Oh, my God. Get things to keep his smelly shit out of here. So, oh, God. Like, oh, no, it's empty. Oh, God, no wonder nobody fucking used it. Oh, this will help. We'll Little Clorox, that's uh, not really spraying here. <coughs> God, I gotta get out of here. Alright, Matt says it's time to rock and roll. Let's start this fucking sub right. subterranean violence volume two. Volume two. Hey, Fuck yeah, baby. Let's get in there. Let's do it. I love how there's no more CCW here. <laughs> it's just it's just it's bubble wrap. Yeah, it's bubble wrap. Ooh, more weapons. I didn't see those monitors. God, look at the size of this thing. Yeah, that's what kind of my piece. Is that Voss? He's like, I have Voss water. He's like, oh, it's fucking it's fucking Guys! Guys! Oh, fuck. Hey, Jesus Christ. All right, we'll do we here. That is my job. Tonight, as many of you know, they got to do two matches tonight. Lou, as you saw, he had so many attacks on his just now. This man's been doing this for 20 plus, or 20 plus years. 21 years. 21 years now, man. <laughs> Son by his side over here. Ring always, always. Always, man. Oh, God. If Jimmy Lloyd is the future, he's the next generation. Yeah, one day he's going to be taking on Jimmy Lloyd, man. I can see yeah, it. Yeah. I can see it. He's going to remember this day. He's going to be like, remember what you did to my dad? <laughs> Oh my god. That's always good though. They stuck in there good, man, on that one. And I told him, I, you know me, brother. I always told him. Oh, I know. Like, you even in the match, I was like, hit me harder. Yeah. What he was, yeah, was it, hit me And then he harder. back on the next couple ones, too. Yeah, I was like, damn, yeah, yeah. It's as sick as it sounds when I get hit. It fucking like, gets my dick hard. It <laughs> As sick as a sound. Hey man, it gets us all hard too. Dude. You know, when I used to watch the old UFCs and uh, and and look at the blood. And Tank Abbott once said that he's like fighting a guy takes me from queer street to man, and it's fucking true, man. Is it just nothing fine? Nothing fine. Lou, I fucking love you. I'm gonna get out there and check out more than that. Oh, yes, Look forward to the next match, man. What up, little little? What did you say, holla? Holla? <laughs> oh, I should hear the crowd. Hit out. Oh, big scare, they don't care. Oh, fuck. You can't get that fucking DVD, man. Oh, 
join me in the bathroom. Chando! Hey, look at me, Chando. Come on. Come on, Chando. You Come on, look at my big cock. <laughs> He's in here throwing up. He's nervous about his match. <laughs> we just had the best time in the bathroom. <laughs> Sulfur was the first entrant in the uh, Subterranean Violence Volume 2. I was. Uh, hopefully you can edit it right now. Yeah, I didn't get it, but I'm going to have to ask Chando or Matt and Emily to get the video. Because he came in, it was like perfect time, and it was like... And now the first participant in the H2O Subterranean Violence 2. And then I literally walked in. And then Matt even said, yeah, and Matt even goes, Jonathan Stolfer! Yeah, he goes, like, Stolfer! And everyone was like, Stolfer! Yeah, it was great. It was like perfect timing, dude. <laughs> We're just talking got, to him about that was Dave. Movie. We didn't get it on video the chop, but the, the video of the father release will have it. And Chano just took a beating by Dave. Up. Captain fucking Dave beasted you, dude. Dude, he's like the loudest I, I slap. Thought it was stockade. I, I, thought, like, I thought it was stockade. Too. I was me like, too, oh, dude. Shit. I couldn't believe it. And then absurd. here comes Dave yeah. Spieler going. Yeah. <laughs> he smile. He's all happy. Badly things of flesh right here. So. <laughs> Yo, like, <laughs> Yo, he got you good, dude. I heard that. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, okay, here it comes. Oh, it's gonna live stream it. Fucker <laughs> <laughs> got me. What's up, man? Would you like a sauce? Uh, I've been drinking the whole day. Oh, wait, that's right. You got a little sauce too. I got one more. Okay, okay. we'll pay for it. Share a natty. My man. Oh, it's bent. That's what happens when you're coming to play. Currently have in the ring Mouse, a newcomer to H2O, as I stand over this ironing board with mouse traps over there. Bounce it out. Mouse is bringing a lot into this match. Again, plugging a DVD, get that shit, man. The first one was one of the hottest sellers, dude. I'm sure the second one will be as well. H2O Subterranean Violence, Volume 2. Oh, no. Oh, fucking Christ. Yes, I love you. Thank you, Ted. I'm hooking out for the ladder. You always do. Your weapons banned. Yes. <laughs> hey, what, what? What's wrong with my phone? <laughs> I it's, just didn't know the main. Is it bigger? Size. Is it bigger supposed to be better? Bigger is better. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, little break here. I have to piss. Well, better than to go behind the GCW compound, man. Perfect piss spot, man. That's where Stolfer went and took a shit last year when we started the first subterranean violence. He's not back here. I don't want to show everybody's cocks. Nope. <laughs> uh -oh. Yeah, we don't want to see Boogie Rags cocks. We just want to. <laughs> we just want to. We want to indulge his hot sauces, but not his hot man cock. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm so happy I said that. Wait, are you here? Oh, yeah, I'm here. Don't look at my penis. <laughs> Connor Claxton, man, injured and still going in the Subterranean Violence Volume 2, man. So. I mean, my foot's broken, but on the bright side, I had this big fucking heavy boot to kick people in the face with, so that, that's a plus. Um, you get a shot of this? I want to put the, that print on the that print on the bottom of that boot. I want that's what I want Jimmy's face to look like. That's what I'm planning on. I'm just gonna kick him in the face like over and over and over until like either I get bored or he dies. I'll pop for that. I would love to see it. <laughs> Thank you, Connor Claxon. Appreciate your yeah. time. Stoffer, <laughs> he's helping me out here. We got this. We, we'll do a little pour it and then we'll turn it because I'm going to probably spill it. Oh, uh, spill. <laughs> uh, well, apparently, I just stepped <laughs> in Stoffer's poop from the first subframe of mine. God damn it, Stoffer. There's no. 
how disgusting. There's new dogs in the back of this building. Only you, only Stolfers. <laughs> The current match is going on now is Kip. Jeff Hannibal, man. The ring looks like a disaster. What's your name, bud? What is it? Are you having fun? <laughs> Can't use the Hogan leg drop, but it took a lot more. I won't tell you what he just did, but it involves a power drill in somebody's mouth. We have both these guys. The Holy Kit chant was my favorite. Holy Kit! Come on, let's replay this. High five! Yeah! And the chick, give it a squeeze. Give the rubber chicken a big squeeze. Yeah, Hogan! Can I get another high five while you hold the chicken? Same time? Yeah! Alright, you two are big fans here. Hey! How's the pictures going, man? It's going good. I think the show is uh, going well, so pacing myself today and uh, there's a lot of matches so make sure that it's about quality and not quantity. I agree all the way. <laughs> and this is Chris Grasso. You want to plug your network here, man? Uh, well, I guess you can follow me. Uh, what is it? Pornhub.com. Yeah, Pornhub. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the guy that has the super long man. <laughs> um, on Twitter, it's at King Cameraman. I mean, it can't be more egotistical than that. And uh, <laughs> Instagram is uh, Nacho Chez. That's N A C H O C H E Z Z. But as you say, it can't be more egotistical. You could have said King Cameraman with the big, huge fucking cock. <laughs> then it could be more egotistical. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If I had one other K, then it would be KKK. It would be. Oh, we just. <laughs> yeah, you can't do that. We, we yeah. can't do that here. Yeah. Alright, we'll cut that out. Cut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, as you saw, I'm with Chris Crosso here, photographer here for Deathmatch Wrestling, wrestling in general. I was just asking him, as we just came off a successful Jimmy Lloyd birthday party, um, as a professional wrestler, well, not me as a professional wrestler, but people that are professional wrestlers, Deathmatch wrestlers especially, can have very successful shows, as Jimmy proved it to all of us. It wasn't labeled as GCW, but GCW would be insane to not label it as GCW Jimmy Lloyd's birthday party, as it was extremely successful. And I was discussing with him, I said, Jay Schlack, he should have a show, because he's fucking, his name is like out there, and he's a very talented musician, an artist, tattoo artist, like wrestler, like everything. He should have his own fucking show, and I wanted to hear his opinion. What do you got? Jay, Jay Schlack presents Crack House, GCW, an event or something, yeah, you know? Something like that. Yeah, I Jay mean, Schlack's ca crack, Schlack's crack House. It, it seems like it seems like GCW is hitting like a home run with every one of these type of shows where it's Joey, Joey. You had uh, Danny Havoc in Milwaukee. Oh, yeah. That was a great show, and you know, like if you could maybe merge like you know Schlack's multi-talented, uh, you know, musician and wrestler and all of this, and you could kind of merge the genres together, maybe you could have just this crazy ass, incredible, you know, show that could be half music and maybe wrestling afterwards or whatever. Yeah, um, you you were at a tournament of uh, death when Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there was, I mean, Jesus, there was, what, 75, 100 people, like, just there for him, I think, yeah, like, for the band, like, for seriously, like, it was, uh, it was pretty crazy. Slack, if you ever see this, man, take, in, take notes on this. I'm sure he already has. I'm sure he's willing to do this one day. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, I'm just throwing out the ideas, you know, like, uh. Well, we'll look at, like, as Joey Janelle's spring break. I, I mentioned to, uh, uh, Jimmy, I said, as he's over there behind you, I said, Joey Janela Spring Break is going to have some competition with Jimmy Lloyd's birthday party every year. It's uh, after this year, that show was phenomenal, man. Like I haven't felt that atmosphere, and the show was just stacked from the start. Like everything yeah, it was, was well a lot done. Of fun. Yeah, we got Adam Mueller and uh, GCW also. Oh yeah, of course. It's a fucking Vegas shooter after he shot himself. Adam Bueller's fucking sick. He kills it. VOW is coming back. He kills it in VOW all the time. Wait, wait. He would. Well, but this man right here. Have you met this guy right here? This is oh, my yeah. friend Tyler. Okay. He's a diehard man. Um, 
in response to that. So I love Adam, Adam Mueller too. He's definitely better than wrestling Mr. California. You know, as Mr. California. Sold out crowd. Yeah. I mean, I, I watched that and I'm like, man, this poor guy should be doing way more than just. But where the fuck's he live? Indiana and he gets a free trip to California. That's cool. Yeah, I mean, you know, you do what you do. I mean, he always brings it. But, you know, again, it's ideas. It's, you know. I want to see him and uh, Marcus Crane. It would be nuts. Yeah. He kills himself at VOW. He's sick when he gets the stage, man. I want to see that. Well, even Marcus Crane, too. Chicago. Even Marcus Crane, as I was saying, like, these people could, like, put their own shows on it. It should be, like, a label for shows, not, like, a random title. It should be, like, a, a, a wrestler Marcus promoting Crane a show. Marcus Crane could man. have a benefit show for the orphans. Yeah. And, and cripple them in the ring. Yeah. And make them humble. Rock and roll, guys. All right. All right. The God, well, Father, the Godfather, the Father Tremont. Again, he's gathered us here on this beautiful Sunday for, uh, old, we'll for uh, Subterranean Violence Volume 2, and we're going to go in there. Good hand for us so far, man. Not too bad. We're going to do one more, and then hopefully eat some pizza, and then finish it out. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. Captain D, chop. Sit, Nick. Sit. Sit. Good boy. All right. So the intermission is over. The next match has started. We have uh, Cannibal Stockade. <laughs> Can't see Drew. Can't see who else is in here, but they're all in here. I think it's a tag match, I'm not sure though. Was it be brutal? Again, plug the DVD, get it. Man in the ring, I apologize, I couldn't see his face. Yeah. Devin, I love you. Cheers. Quick smoke break before we go back in for this match. Dude, this show is awesome, man. Make sure you guys, seriously, man, I'm gonna put this up on my YouTube channel probably this week. Get H2O Subterranean Violence Volume 2, man. I had the privilege to uh, make a vlog with the first one with a lot of wrestling, pretty much the whole thing as I used my shots for the, the first one. This one is just gonna be simply behind the scenes stuff. Um, they know what they're doing. Emily's doing a great job. They're uh, of their videographer, she's climbing up on the roof, getting great shots. I mean, get this, please do, man. Dude, support H2O 100%, guys. We don't do it. 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 We yeah, that's all. I wish I got shots of it, man. I'm not filming wrestling today. I got maybe no. Yeah, we're just that's so exclusive today. Show me some nipple. Oh no, you might not be able to. Hey man, what's going on next? You're up in another match. I'm done. Two matches in a row, so I'm good. I would say you want a beer, but you don't. You don't drink beer. You want some meat, some chicken. We're on the eve of Beaver's Dev right now. Who do I watch with Beaver? Beaver's Dev more. I love you, and when you and Devin Moore face off, I, you guys have matches for the past like decade. Like, yeah, I'm looking forward to that, man. What are you eating out there? Pizza. Well, we didn't. The fans didn't get the pizza yet. Why? Why do you get pizza first? I work 15 days straight. This is my only day off for 15 days. You want to spend it? So you're you're a kid. Yeah, man. You know how it is. This man, I want to say, I love this dude right here, but I love this guy too. This big long right here, I love him. I, love him. I just say I love you guys. As a fan, I gotta get out there, but man, I love you. Guys. Kit is busting my balls about my class. It's like he bought. How about you just be quiet and take a sip of it? It. <laughs> it's like it's like he bought these jeans for that flask. We don't know what we're doing. We're just gonna go do like He bought the flask we're first. I'm a Look at that person. Right? Oh, the kids on yeah, you need like a big boy to open it. You get like a wet towel. Yeah, we'll get we'll get a big boy. Look, I got Kit. Kit Hoss is being my video right now. That is amazing. Kit, like, wait, you're, you're done wrestling. You did two matches pretty much. Yeah, I'm done wrestling, brother. I was surprised when you came in there right away. That was awesome. Though. Yeah. Yeah, much respect. Oh, look at that. I'm holding it. He's drinking to me, but I'm, I'm holding the camera right now. What's it's that? not a flash, it's a goddamn canteen, man. Canteen? <laughs> <laughs> you could use that as an umbrella if it was raining. 
you know what? I, I bring it because everybody always drinks with my stuff. So like, if I figure the bigger the better. If it's sharing, you know. That's nice. That's swell. Go ahead, go film. Go ahead, use it. Go film. <laughs> I didn't want to be filmed. I'm going to go out here. Just take what's going on here. Don't mind me. I'm just here. <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> I did good. I, I wait, done good. Wait, I done good. This, this, here. I done good. I done good. Well, this, this is an exclusive deal here. We don't do video of the wrestling tonight, so, so Matt's gonna whoop you like this. Motherfucking day to day, man. We'll get one of these though. One shot. Let's go. Cannonball just throws on a chair in the ring. I'm not sure what's going on. He's like offering more in there. I don't know. He's got a. Cannonball's gonna drop a deuce. Kid who knows about yeah! pizza. Man. You're a slut. You love pizza. Wait. Pizza! 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 Begin! Last time. So make sure everybody gets What was this show brought to you by? Uh, tonight's Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all these pizza sluts. <laughs> Man, sprinkle a little coke on it. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe for later. Mm. If you want to lose weight, you just use a lot of uh, <laughs> cocaine. Uh, all right, but we'll stay stop. tuned in May. <laughs> He's gonna have some Chicago deep dish. Oh fucking it! I can't oh, wait for that. Yes. That's gonna be oh. You know, I want to make the GCW Chicago show, but you know, know. me having kids, it's gonna be hard for me. We'll have to talk about. But if I do get it up where I can do like the live broadcast and stuff, maybe it'll be a possibility. But you know, if I'm not getting paid, I can't do it. Real realistically, I can't do it. Man. I know. I know. How you doing tonight, David C. Russell? Doing good. I'm getting ready to get a slice of pizza. Do you get that pizza? Pizza, man. Let me see you take a big bite of that, man. Get that last pepperoni. Oh, you don't you don't like pepperoni, do you? David C. Russell don't like pepperoni. Hey, my buddy. Hey, what kind of pizza you like? What do you like? 
lens. Oh yeah, smudge up the lens. <laughs> One juicy slice, it's two what extra. Is that? Oh, oh, double, double fist and pizza. Yeah. What is that? What is that? Pepperoni. 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 You, you, pizza slice. Come on. It's pizza brought slice. to you by pizza. 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 Hey, Joe. What you got here? Pizza! <laughs> <laughs> that's like that. Oh, what? There you go. That's it. Pizza! Pizza! pizza. H2O Subterranean Violence is brought to you by pizza! Pizza! <laughs> Nobody's arrested. All right, we're Sean here. Sean, oh, wait. The door has risen. We, can we go over here real quick? Hold on. Yeah. Uh, this, the, the door is ajar. Okay. I love you, TJ. Okay, come here. I'm in here. TJ. So what do you got in plan for yourself in the future here? Uh, for, for 2018, I plan on being a history teacher, and as long as I can beat up Mark Angel, because he's a piece of shit, so. No, I agree. Yeah. He's a piece of shit. No, he like, is he's shit. abused his kids on wrestling shows. You know what's the worst thing I ever did when I was at a wrestling show? Accidentally not pay for an autograph from Austin Aries. And then you know what I did? I went back and paid for that autograph. But that is nothing to be ashamed about. No, no, it's an accident. This piece of shit is abusing his kids on TV, like, legit DVD. Well, his, his, uh, uh, corporate and, pop, pop and, and crime, I can't even say it properly. Now, uh, Chondo's here. He's a fucking asshole too, man. Yeah, I, I'm not, I don't stay know what away it is. From him. Just I was about to, he, he's I'll a bad there. influence. <laughs> but I would say, for you, man, as a fan, like, you know, you know, me and you were like yeah, ringside totally. guys, and now you're doing your thing as, as uh, Tremont. Like, yeah. Tremont trained you correctly. <laughs> totally. Yeah. And, and Chondo. And Chondo, too, yeah. yeah. He's still a fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> but he did train, even though he didn't jump me. It's okay. No, uh, no, it's not okay. You can't jump <laughs> yeah, me. Fuck him, man. <laughs> Screw that right. fuck him. <laughs> I say I love you to death, man. No, right CJ, here, you know? I've said it before, but I'm glad you had me on we'll camera. We'll just step off, off of uh, subject of wrestling and stuff. Like, he, it's a good dude right here, man. Uh, TJ, I, I know I said this to you in, like, Facebook message, but, like, the words you said to me after the uh, the uh, the show where me and Matt wrestled were literally like what? some of the best things. Well, you and me were alike, but we're different. But we're yeah, the same totally. and, stuff. and we, we love Mick Foley. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. I would Mick, watch Mick Foley. All Mick day. Foley is a god, yeah. dude. So I think yeah. he's one of the very few I'd cry if I so, but no, I love you. Man. I love you, dude. Well, I, love you too, dude, you I wish you nothing much. but best in this industry. Yeah. And, you know, if not, who gives a fuck? Just enjoy yourself. Like yeah. I said, like I said before, enjoy yourself. If yes. You, if you don't enjoy yourself, then don't do it. It's impossible to not enjoy myself. Stuff when I got all some people like me. Well, so. well, when you got Matt Tremont, like yeah. the companies, the, his company putting shows together, like this oh, dude, private shows. Oh my! It's God. gonna blow up, man! It's blowing up already. Like we just packed pack the house for Subterranean on a random Sunday. Just back the house. Well, I hope to see you in uh, Subterranean Violence Volume Three instead of Volume Three. Volume Three or Four, Matt. I want in. I want in. I don't want it. I look. I look good. Wait, you go against him? Uh, any man who feels the need to fight me in soda cans and bar water. Oh, I'm ready. Oh, we got an exclusive. You heard it here first. Man. Please don't beat me up. I just want to wrestle on the card. That's just what I want to do. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll I'll you, you, you take it. No, you, you have just a ultra violent stop sign match. Man. You, if you <laughs> bring it, I'll use okay. it. If you bring it, I'll use it. Alright, we'll come. I gotta smoke a stogie. Alright, with Sean Harrison here again. And he was just mentioned to me how him and Jimmy Lloyd used to go to shows together. Here's, a, be the same show? here, here's a funny story. So, Jimmy Lloyd, I know I don't want to kill this thing, but he's a super awesome guy. And uh, fortunately, we got to meet when we were like 12 years old. It was at this like TWA show. I think Steve Carino was on it. And I never Steve remember Carino. King of Old School. Wow. And uh, I'm a hardcore Steve Carino fan. So His me, son's in the industry. Yeah, Colby. Cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. Colby. Cool. Yeah. And uh, I remember like I was I was telling my dad like I'm gonna go get Steve Carino's autograph. And I guess Jimmy, who I didn't know at the time, was right behind me. And he he slid me this like flyer, and he's like. Can you get Steve Carino to sign us? I was like, yeah, sure. I didn't even know who Jimmy was. We were like, we had to have been at least fourth grade at that point. And uh, I went, I got Steve Carino to sign us himself. And ever since then, me and him have been good friends. And I, I mean this in all sincerity, Jimmy. I'm so freaking happy and proud of you. And I, I really hope that you get to go as far as you can in wrestling because you're a great kid. And hopefully see me at the end of the day across the yeah, Maybe. You, maybe. You, you may cross paths. Yeah, he's awesome, dude. I love Jimmy. I just want to let wait you know a minute, that. Wait a minute. What about you going against Jimmy Lloyd? I would, Jimmy's awesome. I'd love to, but at the end of the day, I just want to say, Jimmy, I'm so happy that 2010 we met, and I'm so glad that eight years later, man, it does not feel like eight years. I'm so happy for you, and I'm so glad that you're killing it, dude. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie that one of the most genuine people here I've ever dude, met. You're the best, I love you. Too. No, you are. You're a good man, thank and you deserve all the good things that can come. To thank you, you so much. I just want to say thank you for wrestling. Yeah, dude, you're the best. Dude. Thank you thank for you. wrestling.
I still gotta get Sean over to my house one night to uh, to well, to watch my kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Probably. I'm gonna just to show them what it's like when you actually reproduce and make kids because it can be very difficult. Yeah. You know. I, I think what I'm gonna do is I don't know if this is a good babysitting tactic. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring over Sprite and uh, the best of Mick Foley cheap pops VHS and that's just what they're doing. No, you mean for the whole night. Perfect. That's what they're doing. Staples and diapers. <laughs> Staples. Well, yeah, but no. You can actually, if you can't figure out how to change the diapers, you can use the staples on or staples. Oh, yeah, just. Duct tape. Watch, watch it be duct like. Tape. Hey, duct tape always works too. Watch <laughs> it be like a comedy movie and I accidentally but, like staple the diaper to the floor. But and the baby on a serious note, before I like cut you off, um, I want to say as a fan for 25 years now, I mean, I was there since CCW yeah. started. Yeah, awesome. I'm 36 now. How old are you? I am 19. I know that makes okay. that probably drives the game. So, like, you and Maria Maddock, when I talked to you guys, like, you guys were babies when, like, yeah. you, you were just being born yeah. the company was just lifting Totally, off. totally. I wanted to say, first of all, as long as you enjoy what you're doing, yeah. then keep yeah. doing it. Cheap nipple shot. And if you can't continue, <laughs> what I mean, uh, right. Cheap nipple shot. Cheap nipple shot. <laughs> Today! <laughs> Alright, sorry. No, you're awesome. That's your favorite friend right there. I love um, Chanda. What I'm Chanda saying is, awesome. though, as, as long as you enjoy doing what you do, continue yeah. to do it. And if you don't enjoy it, then go another route. Totally. Figure something Live your else. Dream. Totally. But exactly. you can go another route where, Live like, if dream. you don't enjoy it, then, like, start a company and do something yes. else. Yes, you know? totally. You, I, I see you as a brilliant mind. Dude, that's super appreciated. That's so, thank you so much, dude. It's so funny because someone was saying that. I think mad of all people were saying it. If you're not enjoying what you're doing, those bumps you feel, man. You feel them, and it's just not worth it at the end of the day. But if you love what you do, you'll always be having fun. And I'm, I've never had more fun in my life doing wrestling, so thank you. Cool. I love you, buddy. I got a great story, by the way, about CZW. No, keep going, man. What's going so on, man? When, uh, I discovered CZW. Wait, hey, do you know how to do selfies while I light a cigarette? Yeah, yeah sure. Grab that. So, it's already on record. So here's a... Here's oh, a sure you're in there. Oh, yeah, there I am. Look, it's a, are you in there? My face is very wide. But here's a here's actually a funny story. So, like, I discovered CZW when I was, like, 13 years old, right? And uh, I just got a bunch of money, I think, through, like, selling stuff through, like, eBay and, like, just doing stuff like that. And I I got, I think like $300 or something. I was like, I'm going through the whole catalog. So I bought like, I think like the first 10 Cage of Deaths. And then like the first five best of the best and just went through the whole thing. And I fell in love with wrestling again, you know? Cause like, I think 2011, this was like before CM Punk did the, the crazy thing. So like, I'm not saying it was hard to enjoy wrestling, but it wasn't the same as it used to be. And I just, I fell in love with wrestling again. And, and independent wrestling is borderline helped me through a lot of things and I, I love independent wrestling I love being around you guys so thank you guys for letting me share that CCW story. You did a good so. job. I hope it came out good. Dude I hope so too. I hope it's not like on my chest and all you just well, hear as long voices. As you can see yourself. Yeah. Man. Oh I can definitely but do you want to say anything else to your family and friends and say how much you love them and care about them? Uh, that's what most important I kid too. you I kid you not I wouldn't have any of the awesome things I have in life if it wasn't for my friends and family. Like any any per like I've said before I think I said it in the speech after the mat match like even the little things saying hi to me in the hallway or just high fives or anything means the absolute world to me and I, I can't thank you guys enough for all the love you, sh you show me so I love you guys I want to say from uh, Teach <laughs> as we're shooting this up yeah totally I mean oh Oh, it didn't even phase me. Man, you just Singapore came in. Didn't even do it. God, do it again. Thank you, sir, man. Oh, you know, yeah, yeah. Thank you, sir, man. But um, for you and your family too, when I saw them reacting to you during your first match, during was it OPW or H2O? Yeah, it would be uh, H2O because Sullivan won the title. Uh, no, Douglas won the title. It was awesome, but all your friends there, they were wild. Yeah. Fuck, dude. They might have been borderline intoxicated. Yeah, but what? Nah, nah, nobody was drinking. They, they weren't even old Happy enough to drink. Drink. Exactly. They don't know how to <laughs> drink. Who, who knows <laughs> underage drinking in New Jersey? Exactly. No one does that. Um. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I wish you nothing but the best of luck. Thank you. You know, dude. you always got a place in my heart, dude. That's like, the equal fucking man, dude. I love it. Seriously, I'm not being a lush. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Hey, DJ, you're man. The best, get the nipple band behind uh, you. Let me go get this yeah, nipple man. Has, but, uh, has, has, yeah. You do your right. You, you keep paying your dues and do yeah. your thing, man. But I'm having fun, so, dude, absolutely. Exactly. I'm having fun. So. Anything else you want to say? Just say, I'm going to kill you, Mark Angel. You oh, I forgot <laughs> about that guy. I know. <laughs> Mark, you're fucked in June. I'm just letting you know that right now. You're fucked in June. Die, Mark, die. <laughs> okay, we'll cut this it. This guy said. <laughs> Is that from Captain Dave? No, and Stockade. Stockade guy, you like that. Huh? That's a beautiful thing, man. Oh, my hand's gonna be so fucked right, up I'll let you be. <laughs> I just gotta put a shirt on that.
Wait, would, like would you hit me with that and then do a DDT thing? I can sell it where I don't get hit on the ground, though. Would you do it with me? No, I'm dead serious. <laughs> like, no, I'll, I'm not. Maybe I'll I'm not hit you and he'll DDT you. Go behind him real quick. Hold on. I see you can hit in the crotch with a light. I want you to. You're the dude you're at the truck, fucking TOD. With the green hat. Yep. With the yep. green hat. Yep. That was you. Yeah, that was me. Solver, Solver, wait. Go that was you. Solver. This dude is a fucking legend, dude. Yes, he, he got laid the fuck out. Can you just do this real quick? Alright, what? Go behind and back this way. Make sure it's not recording. It's recording. Hold on. Alright, what I want you to do is hit me, and then you come up and sell the DT. I'm going to do a spot like this. You have to do it, but let me go with you. You know what I'm talking about. Don't break your fucking neck. I won't, dude. I know what I'm doing. Alright, somebody, hold, what I'm doing. somebody hold my purse. You got it on record. Don't fuck it's it. It's recording. Ready? That was my beer. Why do I? I'm so far away. I'm fucking okay. I know how to film. Oh. See, that hurt more than the first one, Damn. I was expecting a headshot, not a fucking one of those bats. You wanna put skewers in my head? Damn it, let me see your back. Do you have any? Yeah, let me see your back. I know, I know there's someone in the back. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, that's mine. That's mine. Shoot those. Where'd I see those skewers at? Take a picture of that. No, look at my bagel. <laughs> you want bagels? I like bagels. I like bagels. I like bagels. I like bagels. <laughs> Like, I'll buy those. Wow. Danny! Danny! Hi, Danny. He just came in with his boots. Ah! <laughs> Come on, one more time. It don't take a whole lot. Not too hard. Oh! Fuck, that was a good one. God damn. No, that's it. <laughs> Danny, please, please. Danny. Thank you, uh, Mr. Havoc. I appreciate your time. Danny, can you hit me with me? Just do one thing. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> That's his cane, not mine. TJ. Thanks, man. Maybe cry. Are you going to do skewers? He is. We ain't got to hit this real hard. I That's, know, I know. Eh? Fucking go in there. I know. Fucking easy. I know. We got to go inside. I'm Come on, we got, wait. No, no. Can we do this after the show? Can we do it after the show? We got to go in. Come on, let's go in first. Let's go in. Let's go inside. Come on. Oh, man. I'm like... Next matchup is uh, why is this continuing now? Uh, Devin Moore and uh, Drew Blood. As they were going in there and battling each other, we started a light tube shatter. Me and PB over here drinking the sauce. Yeah. He's got an all day IPA. I got a Coca Cola can. I'm only drinking solo. Stone sober he is, mm -hmm. always. Every time I hang out with him. I don't Never drink. Seen you. Actually, two DWIs, I have no idea where that happened. I've always I, I've out. never drank in my life. Don't trust the Pope. <laughs> Alright, reaching for another cigarette. Oh my god, this thing is just falling apart. Good god, what the fuck happened, man? I think Danny caned it. Alright, I'm here with Mouse, man. His first time in H2O, man. Subterranean Violence Volume 2. What's going on, dude? <laughs> are you okay? Like, are you bite your fucking nails, dude? Okay, okay. I mean, with places like Subterranean, it seems like it might need some sort of infestation, some sort of pest to fill out that underground space. You, you worry me when I take a look at you. Like, you worry me, dude. You <laughs> well, never want to be too comfortable. I might get a little hungry. <laughs> Alright, ask Aiden. Took so many bites out of his head, it's not even funny. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Honestly, I don't not on a, on a personal note, me like doing these vlogs, like I don't know what to say to you, dude. Like you disturb me, so <laughs> Okay, well you do your thing, buddy. Go ahead, go. Alright, setting up for the main event here. I'm gonna cut it off. Hey. Hey! H2O! <laughs> uh, what? Made of it. What? What? Oh, 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 Final match. Subterranean Final match. H2O! 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 Yes! Yes!
Still drinking. That is a work of art right there, bringing it to the ring. Except Chanda. 
show. <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry, Lou. That's as, as we were really interrupted, but no, we have. Uh, Seriously, I haven't watched you forever, man. You know I'm a die just like you, man. How old are you now? Like 38? 42, almost. I turned 36. I've been watching you since the ECW arena days. Yes. You know, I was a kid, man. No, seriously. 2001. But see, I didn't know you when I was younger like that, dude. Wait, what? dude I love you, man. I love your son or the shit, dude. You know, and I back in 2001, I didn't, I didn't expect to have a son in 2001. Now I got a 13 year old monster running around. I know he's like the greatest thing in the He's world. like bragging. He's like, I'm gonna be an adult. I'm like, no, dude. You don't want to be an no, adult. Dude, right? No, but he wants to do this more than anything in the world. I, I'll shoot 100. percent I don't want him doing this because I know the toll that it takes on the human body. Get in here, Jack. Oh, I'm in a good mood today. This is we were just talking about. We were talking about little Lou over here. Little Lou, you want to come in here and squeeze it? Come on. Move your light tube. But look at this little man here. Fucking your father. We we don't want to see you ever get hurt, buddy. We love you to death. He we know. To do this. I know. I don't want him to. But it's hard. It's in the blood. My no. dad. It, I, I I've told this before. My dad was a failed wrestler. Dad and I never made it. He trained with uh, Antonio Rocca and the Del Perez. I didn't know that. Yeah, my dad failed. Didn't make it past training. And always was, I guess, bitter. And uh, you know, I didn't have a good relationship with my father. But I didn't know that when I was a kid. And he failed in wrestling. And I never wanted to wrestle until I was in the. Well, dude, I, I, I should have had a good win. This guy, he's a very nice little kid. I'm not that, but he has not puberty yet. But like this, <laughs> hopefully one day. <laughs> Hoping to get there one day. Yeah, like little, no, yo, you know, like I said, like Jeff. Before you were Jeff's age, like I was watching little Jeff. Like he had ACW arena shows. He had whatever the company was. He had a lot of weird, weird feuds going on. Whether it was like races, all kinds of crazy yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah. Like, no, like, oh, yeah. I had a friend named uh, Louis, he was, he was a poor guy, and we were like, we joked with him. So am I. Like, <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it's the same. And they'd be like, well, what's that? Really? Yeah. Man, yeah, like, super you know, super 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 Besides all, <laughs> as I was really oh, interrupted. Shoot, I'm home like a cash. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I just want to say, sure, up, man. Like I, I have been watching as a fan, man. Always been a lot of people in here. I guarantee there's probably one percent of them seen you back in the day. Yeah, no, I appreciate you want to see you now. As you're going to expand your career. Oh, I love you, dude. Just fucking love me. I love you too. It's hard, you know. I'm going to shoot 100. percent It's hard do. to get out there in in 12 hours. I gotta be up. Taking a shower, getting ready for my shoot job. Travel to the city from South Jersey. But I gotta do what I gotta do to take care of my family. But see, the one thing I respect about you, like myself too, we're not ashamed to, to say what we do. Oh no, 100%. I'm not. You say like, yeah, I'm a listen, custodian, I'm a janitor. Listen, and I love that listen, about you. You're not afraid to say truth. what you want to I say. I am a janitor, but no. Here's the thing. And this is what gets me sometimes. I, I take care of my, first and foremost, my family comes first. Before all of this, and you know, sometimes this nonsense gets intertwined with, with life and everything. And this is what I've loved my whole life and I'll never stop loving this. But the love that I have for my family is 100% different. It's, it's, that, it's that love of, of, of that you're growing something for the future. Unconditional bond, And my bond, wife, man. my kids, exactly, unconditional bond. This is the bond of brotherhood, of wrestling, of something that I did before I even, before the thoughts of family came. And, you know, it, it's hard to sometimes differentiate when you're on the road, when you're battling, when you're hustling, when you're coming out here and doing and, and doing this crazy shit and your wife is worried at home that you're not going to come home because you're 100%. You, you saw me. You witnessed my match with Masada, right? In 36 hours after I came home, I was in a hospital with my lung collapsed after it was punctured in the match. And over a ridiculous spot like a fan, like a, a, a basic spot where a window fan yeah. did that to you. You know, so it happens, but the, 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 the bottom line is, I 
I can't give this up and I won't give this up because this is this is what makes me me. I love my family, I love my wife, I love my kids, I love my job, I love everything about it. But the bottom line is that Low Life Louis Ramos was around before that. And that and Louis Ramos is a family man who does laundry and takes care of his kids and takes his wife out on Friday nights and stuff like that. But Low Life Louis is a hungers for deathmatch wrestling, hungers for blood, for violence. And and that hunger can't be quenched unless I'm here. And for Louis Ramos to be okay, Low Life Louis has to be able to perform and do this. What and I want to you know, say to you before I cut you off, because I you know I gotta get home to my kids too, you know, we're family men. Huh? As you I respect the shit out of you, obviously. You. But seeing, meeting your wife, your son, your daughter too, especially, yeah, yeah. they're spitting images of you. And, yeah, yeah. and your wife is a beautiful woman, dude. Thank Every you. time I, I see her, I tell her she's beautiful. She I tell her that all the dude. time. And she needs to understand that the love that I have for my family is different than the love that I have for this family. Because this family came first. And the family that I made is the family that I will take care of for the rest of my life once I'm long and retired. And I, and I will take care of my family till the day I die. But for me to be able to provide for my family and do the right thing, I need to have this. Because without this, there is no me. There is no low life Louis. I am deathmatch wrestling. You are. And another thing I respect about you is like whether you're getting paid to do this shit, whether it's like twenty dollars for the fucking that night, doesn't you still come out here and fucking destroy yourself for that shit. This is wrestling Jimmy Lloyd today was an honor because, like I said, and I 100% mean this, he is the future of this shit. I'm a 20 guy. I'm a guy who has 21 years invested into this shit. And when I see a guy like Jimmy Lloyd, I got that's hungry. A guy that goes out and does everything that is asked of him. I see that that is the future of this shit. You know more than anybody here literally in this building today. You know more than anybody here. You've you know the sad part? I could be the father of half the guys in the locker room. Think about that. You know the sad part too? Me and you both. Yeah. <laughs> You're what, what are you, 39, 40? 40, 42. 42, alright, I'm 36. So we're close, man. We yeah, I'm a little old. We could have slept with the same women. You never know, man. But you know, you, no, seriously though, on a, a real note though, man, uh, you especially do especially doing wrestling and they're <laughs> I love you, bro. Sorry, I hesitated because I thought Connor was going to destroy you no, with that light tube. one of these guys. That he I, might have done that. You never I, know. But I wouldn't care. He came in here with a boot. So. But you know what? The guy has a boot on and he's still fucking doing this. But you know what? You could have a boot on your dick and you'll still be in this race. Yeah. So. I have a cashew dick, so it wouldn't <laughs> fit. But no, I was just trying to say is that your, your, your son over here, he's doing his little duty Hustling, here. Yeah. Paying his dues because I trained him. He is, way. he's I doing really me. well. You know, that's how I started. But I, as I'm trying to like cut it off, I know I'm like rambling on, but dude, I just, I love you to death. Like I, I said, before I actually you. personally got to know you as I'm doing the video stuff, you're a good fucking man. I try. Your wife is beautiful. Your kids are beautiful. You got a good family. You got a good heart. I appreciate that. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. Yeah, dude, seriously, man. Thank I love you, you to death. I love you too, bro. Thank you so and much. Anything else you want to say to anybody no, out there? That, that's the truth. That's the shoot. We know. <laughs> yeah, we all respect you know, the fuck out of you, it's, dude. It's, 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 it's a hard conundrum that I live every day of my life because I have a beautiful family. I have a beautiful wife, beautiful kids. And my wife sometimes, she doesn't get it. it. It's a different love. The love of wrestling is totally different than the love that I have for my family. I will take care of my family till the day I die, like I said. But for me to be able to do that, for me to be able to be 100% mentally, physically, and whatever else, this is my outlet. This is what I've done before. I have a thought of being bad with this. This is how I chose to live, like they say. You literally, as yourself, as you've gone through all this, you come in there and you sweep up shit and ring it out. I don't mind. Yeah, because you know you love this fucking industry, I, dude. I, I love this, like I said, the love for my family is different than the love of this, but it's almost the same. It, it equates to the same, because it's a love that I that I, that I I want to share with everybody. I love my family, I take care of my kids, I do everything that I can for my family. And that's about dressing, is something that I, I will love and will forever love. Because it's been a part of me for half my life, and I hope and and I hope that I'm able and blessed to be able to perform another 10, 15 years. Who knows? You know, I came back from a terrible injury, but I'm hoping that one day I'm able to uh, come back to the highest level and wrestle guys like 
Schlack and, and Tremont again and kind of all engaged. Well, shit, you, your injury was from Masada. Yeah, yeah. I, greatest high, one of the greatest high progressors. Yeah, ever. And, and you know what? I, I came into the match sick. I, I broke my ribs in the middle of the match. The rib punctured my lung, and I still went 15, 18 minutes. Well, that's why I said when, when I talked to you, I respect the shit of you. Not only because I've known you now yeah. outside the ring, personally now for two years, but 18 years before that. I've always respected you. You're, you're amazing and, and in the ring, dude. That's what, uh, you love what you do, yeah, and I respect the shit out of you. This is... This is I, I can't put into words how I feel about this. It, that's just the bottom line. This is this is the life I chose. I'll never I'll never be able to give it up. As much as I want to, and sometimes as much as I've wanted to retire, I can't. I can't give this up. You can't give up. I, I can't. When you love something, you can't give it up. No, you can't. No matter how. 100%. No matter if you don't make anything, you just do it because you fucking love it. Exactly. You're happy doing it. Yes, hundred percent. Well, that's why I respect the shit out of you, Lou. All right, let me get in here with you. This is my man, Low Life, Louis C. Ramos. And he is far from low life, dude. He is the fucking high life, dude. Yeah, well, high life, you like that beer? I kind of like that beer. <laughs> See, high life, Miller High Life, I'll drink some of that. <laughs> See, me and him, we'll, we'll drink all day. And, like, honestly, out of, all, out of reality, when I go to shows, like, I meet a lot of people. But this man stands out in my mind constantly. And I'm not just saying that because I've gotten to talk to him, but, like, he literally stands out in my mind. Thank you, bro. No, you're the fucking man. <laughs> I love you. Love you too, My heart melts for you thank every you, time. You. You. you have a safe trip home? You too, brother. You and too. let's have a I'll drink after this. Yeah, no doubt. You want to have a drink? I want to have a drink. All right, we might come back again. <laughs> All right, we're getting ready for TOS 3. Shit's going to happen. I want to, I want to get him in the right spot. <laughs> right, there? right there? Right there. Not too Put hard. your eggs on the fucking ground, right? dude. I'm not even doing it. Go ahead. Oh, no, you got hit harder than that. Oh. Oh, no, you didn't do good. He told us to do it hard. You pussed out. Give me more. You Give me pussed more. out. <laughs> Go ahead. Ah, okay. That's enough. Damn, I pulled him the fuck out, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's done. He got Cheers. TOS. When is it? <laughs> June 3rd. It's fucking God June 3rd. GCW. I want to see Masada show up, yeah. honestly, dude. <laughs> he might be out, Joe Cash, fucking. <laughs> Am I dripping? Am I dripping? Yes. Yeah, you Am are. I? He pulled him out. He's <laughs> <laughs> bleeding. Oh. All right, show's over, man. Uh, H2O Subterranean Violence Volume 2. Seriously, get that uh, DVD, man. Um, you know, a lot of you wait for to see my do these vlogs for like a year from now. I still haven't released the first Subterranean Violence Volume 1, which I was very thankful to be a part of. Um, seriously, get out there, get that. Man, this is like some history shit, dude. Like, it, it's so well, well worth the $20 to get, dude. I'm already going to get it, so uh, get on there and get it, man. And uh, y'all take care. We'll continue to vlog with me and my boys. We're, we're hanging out. We're a little shitty. My kids are with uh, my girl's grandmother, which thank you, very thankful for her taking care of them. Um, but, uh, we'll come back. Okay, let's go. Father Trima, aka yeah, yeah. the Bulldozer Man, another successful, successful subterranean violence. Volume 2, man. Less than six months. Right, it was less than six months. Yeah, uh, first one was November, and it's now March, so yeah. Turn a good, best turnaround time we could. And you're like, you, literally, like the, the private shows are like a phenomenal thing to do. I think you're on the right track of doing this, and I think it should be, as you see us, very dedicated to you guys. I appreciate and, uh, it. It's, we uh, loved it, man. I loved I, it. As I say, I awesome. As I say always, uh, you know, without you know your guys' support, your support, uh, we don't run, we don't thrive and survive without you guys, without the great fans that support H2O and all of. You know, pro wrestling, we can't run our live shows in Williamstown. We can't do these private death match events, you know, without you guys. So, oh, man, and, yeah. I, and I mean that. I but without you, you, we wouldn't have anything to fucking watch, dude, you know? <laughs> so what's, uh, do you have an actual release date of, uh... uh last time we banged this one out in a week, so this, this will be out in a week, two weeks tops, on DVD and digital download at Smart Mark Video, uh, our, our distributor of all H2O stuff. 
and uh, you know we will be back live in Williamstown. As as I said again, you know, not too too long ago, you know, everybody's going to New Orleans WrestleMania weekend. I decided to stay home and not take bookings from numerous companies. I'm stay so home you are. and give you you know H two O and our and all you guys a show here WrestleMania weekend. So I hope to see everybody April sixth in Williamstown and let's pack the OTW arena main event no rope bar bar. I'm gonna kill Jimmy Lyon. Please fucking do. Please. It's a, it's a stacked card, so if, if you're in the area, WrestleMania weekend, you're not going to New Orleans, come to Williamstown, New Jersey, and come check out H2O. Thank you, man. Thank appreciate you, it. Appreciate, appreciate you. everything you do, dude. Always. You take care, buddy. Thanks, dude. You too. Take care. All right, it's time to clean up all the tubes. Clean all the tubes up. Ah, oh, yeah, they're breaking it all. So I'm outside my home of home here at the compound. Look at all these little bottles out here, man. Goddamn. All right, so I'm going to head back home. We're out here talking with Kit. Let's go up to Kit real quick. Let's just like call him out here. I got messaged by like Hero. It was it was nuts. I heard you got a huge cock. Um, I mean, you know, it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> Sorry, I, didn't I call it an innie. An any, yeah, you know, because when it's cold though. out, but when it's cold out, and then like when it gets warm out, I mean, whoosh. It's, it's like, like at least three inches, in, you know. My girl's got a big gash. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking huge. But but I want to say to you though, kid. Now you did good though. Honestly, when I came in there, I was like, man, you did like a back to back basically tonight, dude. I was like, shit, hey, right? You went in there and you went in again. I was I'm like, feeling what? it. Oh, well, at least I'll feel a little bit later when I sober up, you know. Yeah, you I mean, I don't drink because <laughs> drinking's wrong and wrestling. Drinking is uh, bad. You know, we've changed, we've evolved as a people. Hey, thanks for the work and, today. Uh, blah, blah, blah. blah and, yeah, man, it's almost as bad as like during the GCW show when they were Schlack and Mark Strain did coke in the ring. I mean, what the fuck are they thinking? I don't know what they were thinking. I mean, they obviously <laughs> either better than us or they're not as good. Dude, know. that is a classic. I've always looked. I don't do, do cocaine. New Jack's but, though. They took New Jack's gimmick. He just did it behind the wall when he was heading up the stairs to the <laughs> Pretty much every wrestler. Well, These guys were doing, they were well, doing that's it in the, the middle of a match. That's the best they're part. They're like, oh, we're getting blown up. You know what? Maybe we should do some coke. And they're like, yeah, I agree. I, 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 was like, yeah, I totally agree. And then he just fucking did it. And then next thing you know, like that whole second half of that match is as if it just started. And it was that's it that's the best the part though. It was like there's always been cocaine in wrestling, but they actually did it during a match, and I yeah. will always look back and then and go. It was not oh, the what? first time that Schlack <laughs> accidentally bled on a line. Yeah. <laughs> Does that make it more <laughs> difficult? I don't know. I, I never did it. So like, <laughs> 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 you, yo, bro, you smell like Bigfoot. Dick! <laughs> you smell like Bigfoot's dick! <laughs> Petey volunteers to come Checking smell. In. Come on. In he's got, he's got uh, nephews and stuff. Smell it. How bad is that smell? I smell worse. It's bad. It's bad, but dick. Oh, Alright. So you'll be a great father someday. <laughs> uh, the longer you stay here, the worse it gets. To <laughs> it smells so bad. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Who's that yeah, guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he big. He's big. He's a big man. He's big. <laughs> you pick him up. He likes to be held. Pick him up. Pick him up. Pick him up, Petey. No. Oh. What you doing? Oh. Oh, look. Oh. The best he's a cuddler. Oh, he's a good boy. Yeah. See, he's got goofy glasses like Dad. Dad. He got, got dumb baby glasses. Too. This is what I can handle. Oh, look at you with the boo boo. <laughs> this is my level. Boo boo. I can drop this and it'll land on its feet. <laughs> I picked that cat out, man. That's my boo boo. That's a nice kitty. That's awesome. Hey, I gotta go wipe your brother's butthole. Hey, don't you touch that. <laughs> don't you smear the lens. Hey, how you doing, buddy? All right, we're back. Oh, dear God, it smells. I can see it dripping down the side. <laughs> you a question? Where you good for grandma? 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 <laughs> Where you go for grandma? Where you go for grandma? Where you go for grandma? This is from you and your brother. It smells like no, don't touch it. It smells like cow shit. Here, boys. Hey, Megan, this is you. It smells like shit. Here, boys, let's go. Hey, one, two, three. <laughs> uh, good, you guys got a good heads up there. Great reactions there. <laughs> Baby diarrhea all over the ceiling. 
Hey, at least you responded very well. <laughs> Alright, so here's the trash. Alright. Alright, so we're back. the camera so people know you're not getting Fuck you. We're back now at my place now. Uh, as you saw, we're doing diapers and shit. We and, uh, just got the confirmation from Tyler's AIDS test. He's positive. Congratulations, nigga. <laughs> I got nothing for that. <laughs> But we're going to review today. Uh, I, again, I did not shoot any wrestling. Um, again, if you guys want to see uh, Subterranean Violence Volume 2, I'm going to have this vlog up. I can do this actually right away next week because I did not shoot any wrestling. I mean, I shot maybe like two minutes of wrestling. Matt said it was cool, do my normal thing. But I did not take advantage of that. I literally shot maybe like one or two. I might even delete those scenes out. But man, hey, we're going to watch this now. We'll get back to you as my kids are in there. Hey, man, woman, I don't give a shit. I'll hit a bitch too. I don't even like kids. <laughs> Alright, let's watch this shit. <laughs> Bye! Have a beautiful time! <laughs> Yay!